Kawabunga and happy holidays dudes and dudettes. This is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and this is my 150th Mezco Toys 112 Collective action figure review, this time being of the Holiday Gomez. Now taking a look at the box, we can see that it's decked to look like an actual Christmas present we even have a blank tag that you can actually give this to someone, so that's actually really cool. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and let him breathe. Alright, so before I take a closer look at Gomez here, uh, I saw at the bottom of the box, we actually get some type of card here. So I'm going to open this up, and I haven't checked this out yet, so I'm going to open us up right here. Uh, pull this out and okay, we got a little happy holidays right there looking pretty cool uh, We get a really nice image of Gomez and Grub and that stupid pigeon all cockeyed and then boom boom and a nice little brief right there So that's pretty cool. I do like that in the back uh, Nothing just some write-ups on Mexico toys and other social medias and things like that. So let's see what we got on the inside and uh, Okay, that's actually really cool uh, no writing, but um you know what? I want to see, because this looks like there's all kinds of Easter eggs in here. So let's see what we got. Um, we seem to have the pink skulls chilling up here and through the window. That's actually pretty funny. Gomez is chilling on his little sofa, his love chair. I love seeing, excuse me, with his drink. I got Boom Boom playing some music right there. We got a little action figure of Doc Nocturnal under the tree with a little vehicle. I would love for Mezco to make a vehicle like that. That thing looks really, really cool. You got that pigeon eating the cookies right here. Grub is totally snoozing on a pillow with the Hazard Squad logo. That's really interesting. Uh, we have a Black Skull agent um, in the fireplace while the fire is on. That dude's got to be roasting, right? That is insane. Got a little reef up there. He got a tree with a Baron Benz helmet at the top. And a little picture frame of Hazard Squad Gomez taking a picture with the Moss Squatch. So that's pretty Hey, awesome, dude. You know, this is almost like more like a little uh, display piece or something like that on an actual guard, but I do dig this. That's actually a lot of fun. All right, so now let's take a closer look at Gomez himself. Now, I know this isn't going to be for everyone. Again, Gomez himself isn't for everyone. And of course, something like this, like a holiday Gomez, is definitely not going to be for everyone. But man, it is perfect for me. I think for the past couple years, I've really been hoping for a type of holiday or Christmas Gomez or a Santa Gomez, something like that. And we finally got something and it's really fun for me. I love it so much. I love it so much that I actually bought two of them to display because there's options here, you know what I mean? So the head looks really great, that standard Gomez head. This time we got the really cool uh, green eyes. That looks awesome. And I love his Christmas sweater looking really, really cool. He got some nice gray pants. I love his chucks right here that we get done in the green with the red laces. You got the Mezco logo on the inside like that. And then you got the M's on the bottom right there. And then his standard glove hands. I kind of wish, I don't know, like I kind of wish he would have had like, because we've got these same hands with every Gomez figure. It would have been cool to get these in white. Is that just me? I really wish these would have came in white. I don't know, maybe that's just me and... You guys are cool with getting black gloves over and over again. I think this would have been a really cool opportunity to get them in white. So, anyways, still a really cool, awesome looking piece. Okay, so now let's talk accessories here. Of course, we get the standard Mezco stand, uh, but this one is a little bit more special. It says, Happy Holidays. You really get a really nice image of Gomez there with Grub holding Boom Boom and that stupid pigeon again. <laughs> So funny, but so dumb. But I love these stands, man. You know, they get the clear articulate arm with them as well. But these are so great. I'm definitely going to pose him on this particular stand because I love them, and They're so, so good. We also do get an interchangeable head this time. So I'm going to take this figure right here and put the head off. And I'm going to put this one on like that. Uh, this one does have the little look with the uh, curled up eyebrow and things like that. It's really, really cool. So you can see that they are two different heads. This time, this is the one that has the LED lights, uh, so it does come with the batteries that you can just take this off and pop on right there. It's popping really, really easily. Uh, no screws or anything like that necessary, uh, but it does work out really good. Now, what I do like uh, is that previously in some of these figures, well, all of these figures with the light up eyes feature, is that you had to hold this button down to really light up the eyes. Um, 
and luckily, and that was kind of like an annoying thing that I just, I hate having to hold it. And you couldn't take pictures with the eyes uh, on, you know, that was just really, really dumb. So they finally fixed that. And now you can actually push the eyes on and now they're like a switch. So I don't know if you can see them going on and off right there. So if I turn off some lights and you see them, that looks really cool. And luckily, again, I'm not holding the button down. They're just lit up on their own, which is really nice. So I think that is a cool update. That is something that a lot of us were really annoyed by. So they fixed that, and I think that's really, really cool that they did that. So one thing I wanted to show off real, real quick before I go on with the accessories. Uh, I wanted to do a quick head swap. So I'm going to take this one off here, and I'm going to take the head from the Crimson Dragon Gomez because I really wanted to see how this looks. Um, and I think that looks really good because this has this nice metallic, less subtle gold to it. But I love this head because it has those big red metallic shiny eyes that almost kind of look like Christmas tree ornaments. Uh, and I really don't want to see it on this particular figure. And I think that looks really, really good. That is a great option for you if you want that instead of the green eyes head. I think that looks really cool. So just something I wanted to show you guys because I think that looks really rad actually. You know what? Dang it, now I wish I had bought three because I want to display that head. Ah, Options, options, options. So moving on, we of course get all the different types of interchangeable hands. Again, that you see with pretty much every uh, Gomez figure and Skull figure and all that kind of stuff. And they all look really, really good. You know, you got the open fingered hand, the flipping the bird hand, the different types of gripping hands, everything you're going to need for Gomez. Uh, again, I just I kind of wish these were in white, you know what I mean? Just to give us a different option and something a little new. I think white gloves would have been really, really cool. What I also think is funny is that we get a cooking apron, a chef's apron, that says Kiss the Roach. This is super funny. Um, <laughs> I really don't know why we got this. I think it's still cool, uh, but it's a lot of fun. And if you are going to want to put this on, you're going to want to take the head off and then slide it around the neck like that. And then just tie it off on the back and then pop the head back on. So that's the best way to do that. So I think that's really, really cool. Again, I love having options here. But what's also really fun, and this is something I think is going to be super underrated. We got a frying pan and a spatula here. Now let me talk about these real quick. This is super cool to me because... For a lot of you people who do like action figure photography, we're always looking for extra little things and accessories and things in scale with our figures. Uh, just, you know, bonus weird things that you would normally find around the house and stuff like that. Uh, so getting a frying pan and a spatula is really cool to, for this scale. And that's one thing I love about Gomez figures. He's always packed with a ton of accessories and getting odds and ends, things like this in scale with our figures, I think it's super cool. So I am super stoked about these. And next up, we do get a little winter hat right here, which I think is pretty rad, uh, done in that buffalo check type of red and uh, black plaid, which I think looks really cool. Even have like the fur insulation on there, which I think is rad. Uh, now with this particular thing, what I like to do here, uh, I think is what you're gonna have to do, honestly, you're gonna have to take off the, anten the antennas of the actual Goma's head and kind of feed them through here like that. You'll see them peeking through like so, and then put the other one right there. There you go, peeking through like that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and then you're going to have to kind of plug them in like that on the actual head. Like so. Just line them up properly like that. And then kind of work its way down. You know, maneuver the antenna the way you need to. Like that. And then pop these head on like so. And there you go. I think that's really cool, dude. I know, again, I know this stuff isn't for everybody, but I don't even care. It's for me. And I love it. I think it's so funny. And I think that's just a great accessory. So that's really fun. Next up, we do get this really awesome silver puffy jacket, uh, which is freaking rad, dude. Uh, now, if you guys saw my uh, Vapor Burner Edition uh, review already, uh, I tried this jacket on that figure, which I think looks great. Uh, but it works awesome on this Gomez as well. I love the design of this, the little puffiness of it, the material that it's made of, the shininess all looks very very cool to me and if you want to take this head off and then like use one with the uh, hat on the little winter hat you know do something like that i think that's really cool too dude so i love the options now this thing is a little tricky to get on it's a pretty tight 
uh, because I noticed the wrist pegs get stuck in there when I'm trying to put feed it through the sleeves. So just be very careful and, and work with slow and it will go on there and fit on there very nicely. It does have a working zipper. So I think that is really fun, man. Great looking piece. Next up, we have Gomez's signature sword here, this time done in the red and green, which I think is really cool. I love the green uh, nylon with the red buckles and things like that, but I also love that the sword itself is this really cool red blade, which is great, and then you got the green wrapping on the actual handle itself, so I think that's really, really awesome, because um, why not have a Christmas sword, right? So take the head off, adjust it the way you want, to the tightness you want around there, and then boom, put that back on, and there you go, dude, because even during the holidays, you know, Gomez has got to rock his sword, because you never know when a skull's going to come across and uh, try and start some stuff, you know what I mean? So that's really cool. Next up, we got Boom Boom. Yes, you know, when we first saw, before we even saw the holiday Gomez, they showed off the advent calendar, and the advent calendar was in a giant box shaped like Boom Boom, deco just like this. But when they showed the contents, they didn't include a uh, holiday boom boom, which I was really upset about. I was like, oh man, that would have been really cool if we actually got an actual boom boom done like that. And then shortly after, they showed us holiday Gomez, and here we go, boom. We have boom boom done in those Christmas colors, which is great. Done in green, it has the red paint to make it almost like it's the present, which is really good. So this is an accessory I'm super happy about. Of course, you can open this up just like the other boom booms. And this time we got some goodies in there. You got his uh, Roach and Sun Vodka, which I think is pretty funny. So that's actually really, really cool. Uh, that's nice. Uh, we got his little stirred drink in there. That's surprisingly not spilling, so that's actually kind of funny. And they got that little pea shooter gun that he comes with from other Mezco or other Gomez figures. You got that in there as well. Uh, this time around, the foam insert uh, is like glued in there, so it's not meant to really come out. Uh, where beforehand you could just stick any type of insert you want in there. But I think that's really cool. Again, options, <laughs> the booze and the drink and then the little gun in there is really, really rad to me. I'm just so stoked we got a boom boom in this color deco. That is something that I really, really wanted. And next up we have, of course, we gotta have Grub, right? Uh, this is really cool. It's done in the standard brown that we've seen with uh, Grub before. This time he has those nice metallic green eyes looking really cool. And you can see that he is wearing like a Christmas sweater. Uh, but what's really nice, the sweater itself is actually flocked on there to make it feel a little softer and look a little different. So that's actually really cool. Um, they could have just as easily just painted a sweater on and we probably would have been fine. Uh, but the fact that they flocked a sweater on there to make it look like that and feel like that, uh, in my opinion, is something really really cool so that feels really special so now but not least we get the two christmas presents right here now i haven't opened these up uh i've avoided spoilers it really didn't matter to me if i saw spoilers or not but i've just avoided them luckily so it's not a big deal so i have no clue what's in here i kind of have an idea um so we'll see if i i guessed right i'm sure like a lot of you have i'm sure a lot of you have even seen what's in there so if you don't want to get spoiled by, by this video Go ahead and skip this section right now because I'm totally about to spoil this so you have been warned. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the smaller one right here. Uh, it does, does say to grub, happy holidays from Gomez there. Uh, so I'm going to pop this... Uh, how do I get this open? This is a little, can I get this in with my nails? There we go. So let's see what's in here. And <laughs> okay, for a second, I thought it was a little, a red hot chili pepper. <laughs> that's because that's, that's what it looks like to me. I don't know if it's because I'm Mexican or what, but man, but it looked like a little pepper to me, a chili pepper. Uh, but it is actually a little sword for grub. So where's my little grub at right here? So that's really cool. Uh, I could pop this in his hand like that, you know, and we've had grubs who have swords before, but this time it is done with that red blade with the green handle, so that's super cool. So I love that. Really cool looking little accessory. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the one that says four, number four, Gomez. So let's see what's in this. I think we, for the most part, we all know what's in here. I just have no clue what it looks like. So let's go ahead and move this. Boom, and yup, it is a hoverboard. 
very freaking cool, man. Now, this that looks really cool. I did not expect this whole, like, winter, winter wonderland type of thing going on. You got the little snow, the trees, you got some deer right here, little houses. That's actually really, really nice. Really cool. I actually really like that. That's really awesome. And there we go. On the bottom, you got the more Christmas colors with the green and the reds. That's awesome, man. Yes. I was really hoping for a hoverboard. That's really, really cool. And I'm assuming uh, it's usually magnetized, right? So, the, yep, there you go. That works out great. Yes. So cool, man. So, this has been fun. You get to see what cool bonus accessories, quote unquote, uh, Christmas presents that they gave each other. That's really sweet, right? One gets a little death blade and a really cool, awesome hoverboard. So that's awesome. So now let's run down his articulation. So if you have pretty much any Gomez figure, you know you know what to expect here. The head and the neck are on ball joints, rolls all the way around, does turn left and right, up very far, down all the way, and pivots side to side. Arms can go all the way up, down, up and out. We got a, feels like a tiny bit of a butterfly joint in there. That might just be the ball peg. But we get rotation at the bicep. We got double jointed elbows. Uh, oops, <laughs> I was gonna say rotation at the wrist, uh, and it is there. My wrist and my hand didn't fall off. We get rotation. We do get a hinge at the wrist right there. Uh, we do get a double ball peg in the midsection, so that rolls all the way around. Does turn left and right, pivot side to side, and crunches back and forth quite a bit. Uh, and you can see it is a standard uh, brown buck in there with a really nice belt. Uh, and this buck is definitely one of the best that Mezco makes, man. I wish they would utilize it more for other characters. Uh, hip joints, they kick forward and up that much. Back about that far, splits about that much. Rotation in the upper thigh. Uh, double jointed knees that work very nicely. And then got ball pegs at the ankles that help it roll around, rotate up and down a tiny bit. And a ah, decent ankle rocker. These are high tops, so it hinders it a little bit. But still, overall, I could not be happier with this i am so stoked that we got a holiday gomez and for people like me we got two i think because i i absolutely have, I have options man options and we got a little holiday grub so i'm all about that so this is just a cool piece such a fun figure for your holiday display you know i love having a little christmas tree in my room uh so this is definitely going to go next to that and I can't wait for Eddie next because he's going to be in that display with him. So, so much fun. Always cool to have another Gomez. And for me, he is definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to a Mezco 112 Collective Street Gomez and Crimson Dragon Gomez. And for even more comparison, here he is sitting next to a couple Star Wars The Black Series Holiday Troopers. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Holiday Gomez. Now overall, I fully understand why this is not going to be everyone's thing. But man, I love Gomez, I love the Mezco 112 Collective, and I am a sucker for a Christmas holiday action figure, and this hits me in all the feels. This Gomez is so much fun. Yes, it's weird, and yes, it's goofy, but dude, that's exactly why I love this thing. The articulation works, of course, very, very well. It's one of their best bucks that Mezco makes. I love the soft goods like the sweater and that puffy jacket and that little winter hat are really cool. I love the accessories like the frying pan and the spatula. That's something really unique. And I love the fact that we're getting things like Boom Boom, his sword, the hoverboard done in a holiday theme. We even got a really cool little grub that has a really awesome little holiday sword. That's rad, man. I think this is such a cool piece. I'm so glad they updated the light up eyes feature. That is something we really needed. I am so stoked to have this set. Again, that's why I bought two. So bring on Cousin Eddie because he's going to join the family for the holidays. And I think this whole set is definitely a must get. So be excellent to each other and stay nerdy, my friends.
Peace.